Hello everyone, uh, another update on the Nintendo Investors meeting from last week. I could have done this all the, well it is still the weekend, but you know, I could have all done this in one day, but uh, I didn't know all this, and I'm sure there's going to be more I'm going to learn, but I'm not going to like, cover every detail they did, but I thought this was interesting. So anyway, let's get into it. So, first reported by Nintendo Enthusiast, well that's where I first read about it, and Super Metal Dave 64 he uh, retweeted their tweet about it, but... Nintendo enthusiast wrote this article. So let's talk about it. Nintendo is planning to invest more money into game development. They will be investing as much as 900 million USD or 1.12 billion billion Canadian dollars. That is just uh, under 1 billion US dollars or 1.24 billion Canadian. Uh, also, I want to note that price conversions are estimated prices from XE and they are rounded. Nintendo said it is investigating, it is investigating, excuse me, it's investing as much as 100 billion Japanese yen, which would be equivalent to roughly 880 million US or 1.1 billion Canadian dollars into software development, while 440 US, 5.48 million Canadian is going into non-gaming avenues. Additionally, the Nintendo Switch Online Experience Pack, Expansion Pack, just came out at the end of last month. Majority of Switch owners, including myself, although I'm kind of more satisfied than upset, but obviously, I'm not really upset, but you, you get what I'm saying. There are some disappointing factors. I wouldn't say I'm upset. I still got it. I was going to get it anyway, mostly for the Zelda games and Banjo-Kazooie, which isn't out yet, but Majora's Mask isn't either. But uh, I was still looking forward to it, and I've been playing Ocarina of Time quite a bit, actually, so I'm enjoying it, but I understand other people aren't. And it is still expensive. Anyway, so just came out last month. Majority of Switch users are upset about the service and the price being set at $49.99 US for 12 months or $63.99 Canadian. After adding Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis, also known as the Mega Drive, uh, outside of the US and Canada. And uh, it's outside of the Americas, North America, we'll say that. So I get that, yeah, I'm still in, I still don't think it should be $50 US, but it is what it is. Also, by the way, just a side note, um, I wasn't aware of this, but apparently there's no um, one-month or three-month subscription options for the Plus Expansion Pack, which I didn't realize until the time of uh, literally right before I started recording this video. You know, just not a big deal. You may as well get the 12 months anyway, even for that. Or if you have, like, a friend, or even if you had, like, two friends, if you're going to split the cost... Well, the, you know, forty dollars U.S. each. You know what? The, as you know, I mean, you can divide it however you want. But I'm just saying, still, it's expensive, but it might be more worth it. But if you have three or four, if you have four people, and it's eighty, you have eighty dollars. Four people to pay twenty each. Then it might be worth it. I don't know. You can divide it however you want. Anyway, let's continue. Nintendo will try to remedy this problem by putting in 300 yen or 2.6 billion us 32 billion canadian dollars to improve the nintendo switch online experience as well as nintendo accounts and my nintendo so nintendo is kind of they seem to be concerned about this um they brought this up pretty fast like they waited till investors meeting i think it's good that i i think they should hold a microsoft said Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna lower the price. Don't worry. I mean, it's still it's if it's gonna be more than twenty bucks, fine. If they wanted to say, if they were to say we're gonna add more, it's thirty dollars altogether instead of fifty. You know what? That would I sh I think people are still gonna be annoyed, but I I get it. You know, I I would actually be. I was gonna say I'd be willing to pay that. I was I obviously was willing to pay fifty dollars because that's what I paid. But I I under I would actually be okay with that. Yeah, it sucked to pay fifty dollars, but I still did it. Actually, I got a I got a discount because I already had the base subscription, so I paid like thirty something dollars, and then used up all my Nintendo Gold points, whatever they're called, from my Nintendo. So I saved a couple bucks, but yeah, I still don't think it should be fifty bucks. And then you also have like the you got a voice chat on a phone, uh, and there's a few games where you can voice chat actually with the system. You could like just plug in a headset. But other, yeah, but like other games, even third party games that take advantage of this or first or second party games from Nintendo, you would have, it's like, oh, just hook up this dongle. Um, 
to the headphone port. My phone does not have a headphone port, and even if it did, I still would refuse to use the dongle. Um, yeah, so you would have to have an adapter. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, I believe back when the Switch came out, I actually had the uh, iPhone 6 still, but that's beyond the point. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so no headphone port. But even if it was a headphone point, point, port, you shouldn't have to do this. You should be able to just use the head, use the controller. I, I, I wish there was a headphone port on the controller. It's not really a big deal. I probably would just use Discord anyway. So to me, it's not a big deal. But I can understand. Yeah, the service isn't that great. Uh, they need. I would like to see them add more free games, like new games. I mean, we have. They uh, got rid of Super Mario Brothers 35, but we have Tetris 99. I believe there's a Kirby game, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, so the Kirby game, maybe it's free without the subscription. I, th I think you have to have the subscription to play it. So then Tetris 99 and Pac-Man 99. I think they should add... I'm not saying like we should get like a $60 game. No, I don't... Like a free $60 game exclusive to online. No, but you know, it would be cool if they could say like, Oh, well, here's... um, No Breath of the Wild came back came out back in 2017 on the Wii U and I almost said 3DS. The Wii U and Switch. So here here's this uh free game. Hey, they don't even have to do like a free game every month. It'd be nice if they did, but you know, if they don't want to be as generous as Sony, fine, whatever. If they did something like that, if they did like one free game every 3 months, you know, that would that would probably justify getting it and I think people will get it more. Maybe not, but I I think more people would. Anyway, but yeah. I already have the game, but I'm just saying. But the Wild is free if you have Nintendo Switch Online, plus this expansion pack, or just the bait. I think it should be on the base subscription, but it would probably be on the plus expansion pack. Whatever, though. You know, that would actually insinuate more people to do it. But since they're investing, what did it say? $2.6 billion US. Uh, that's over. Yeah, almost $3 billion. And this, by the way, once again, this is just a rough conversion estimate. Estimate. So that it could also it could actually in reality be closer to like 2.2 billion or you know but just around 2.6 billion. I'm sure that's not exact, but you, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I wish they would release Banjo Kazooie and Majora's Mask soon. I we don't have a release date. I would like to see him before Christmas, but you know it's November. If we don't see it this month, maybe we'll see it next month. Well, it's only two more months of the year, less than two months really. Because it's November 7th at the time of the making of this video. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to quit talking because I could keep blabbering on about this. Nintendo, hurry up and work with Microsoft. Release Banjo-Kazooie. And then you also need to release The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, and then figure out what to do after that. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And yes, I have, a, I, uh, have my Kirby shirt on. I should have pointed that out.